Okay, so today we're going to go into Pixlr, and I'm going to show you guys how to put in two different images on top of each other and use the eraser tool to erase the background of the first image. So we're going to create a new image and we're going to rename this layered image and now press OK. And we have our first layer, which is called background. So we need to open up an image. We're going to go to our desktop and we're going to find our folder. We're going to open up our two images. So our first image is of a desert. And it is a very, very, very large image. You can notice down here by how many pixels it is. So this is 3,553 by 19. 187 pixels. I'm going to open up a second image and it's going to be a Carson Wentz image. And this one's much smaller. So I'm going to move this over a little bit by clicking on the name right here to be able to move it. And you can also do the same thing with the desert. So this is the image that I'm going to be cutting out. So on the right hand side you'll notice that background of the Carson Wentz image is able to be clicked. You're going to drag it on top of your background. And you'll notice that the image either becomes larger or smaller. Either way, we're going to have to free transform it. So we're going to click on Edit, Free Transform, and we're going to increase the size of our image. Now, if it starts to get caught off, that's okay. We just want to make it a nice size so that the perspective is okay. So by holding down this anchor at the bottom right and holding down Shift, we can make the size increase so that the perspective looks correct. So I'm going to find a good spot and I'm letting go of shift when I want to move the image and I'm clicking and dragging the image around to move it. Once I find where I want the transform to be complete, I press enter and it's permanent. It stays there. Now if I wanted to move it again, I click on the move tool and I move this around. Now I'm going to put him right here and I'm going to get my eraser. The eraser is right next to the paint bucket. Click on the eraser and I'm going to choose a square looking brush and I click back on this side and I'm going to increase the size to about 61 and now I can start to erase everything that I don't want from the Carson Wentz image. Now this is a very rough way of getting rid of a background. There's much better ways of doing that. And I'm gonna show you that next time. Um, and it depends on the background that you have <clears throat> for your image that's on top of your background layer. So we're going to be doing this a few different times. Uh, the next time is going to be with a picture that you guys take. And that's going to be a little bit more fun. So we can click on the lasso tool and we can lasso out more by clicking and holding down the mouse and then let go. And now I can press delete. And now I have this huge marquee that I can move around his head and other places to get rid of more background which ha which helps speed up the process especially for big chunks like this and you want to keep on doing that until your image looks really good you can go between both the marquee tool and the eraser tool until your image looks nice. Um, I'm trying to just hurry up right now and get rid of some more of the stands. And you guys would obviously want to go a little bit more slow for this. And right now I've clicked on the eraser tool and it's a large eraser tool. It's about 61, 61 brush size. And we're 
we're really trying to just go around the head and the hands. And you want to really get precise. Okay, and you can get more precise by changing the brush size. And it gets even smaller. All right, so let's say I have this image all, all finished. Okay, so I click File, Save. And we're going to put it into two different places. So my um, file size is very, 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 very large. So that's why it's taking a little bit of time. So we're going to save it in my computer. And this is saving it to the computer. So we change the name of our image to Desert Carson Wentz. And then press OK. And it's going to make us select the folder that we want to send it to. And you want to make sure that you click on desktop and then find the folder that you want to send it to. And then you press save. If I want to save to my account in Pixlr because I want another chance to. Okay, so let's say I want to save this image and I want another chance to open it up. You press save and then you have the format. You want the format to change if you want to have the chance to edit this again. So a lot of times this will be on J, JPEG. That means it's going to flatten the image and you'll have your first layer and second layer one. So if you go to PXD layered pixeler image, that is how you save it. So you can have a chance to edit it next time. So always, 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 until you're finished, use a PXD. Press OK and then save.